Hello everyone, welcome to Move Well, Live Well. We get a number of people that come in here who have issues with their thigh. And in particular, they have pain, numbing, tingling, burning, sometimes weakness, especially in this lateral part of the thigh, the outside part of the thigh, kind of in this pocket area right here too. And it's a condition known as Moralgia Parasitica, and it involves the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. I brought out good old Netter here. This is Netter. This is the um, anatomy, uh, excuse me, Atlas of Human Anatomy by Frank Netter, MD. And I've opened it up to this page so you guys have an idea what's I'm, what I'm talking about here. This right here is the front of your thigh. So this is the right thigh right here. And you can kind of see the innervation in red. See this? This is the outside part of the thigh in red right here and it's innervated by the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. And it originates up here at L2, L3. I don't know if you can see that right here. L2, L3, this branch right here, and it comes down, this in yellow, you can kind of see it comes down right here, and it passes underneath the inguinal ligament right there and innervates this outside part of the thigh. And so anywhere along that pathway, it can get compressed or adhesions and fibrotic adhesions can grow in that area and cause discomfort. It inhibits the function of that particular nerve and then you get symptoms going down the part of the thigh. So how do you fix that? How do you fix Moralgia Parasitica? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to floss, to floss that nerve as it goes through that pathway from the low back, the lumbar spine, across, across the psoas here, see the iliacus and psoas, as it dives underneath the inguinal ligament there, and as it innervates the, the thigh right here, I'm gonna show you three ways to do some flossing. Now, what's nerve flossing or nerve gliding? It's to kinda take that nerve and and floss it through those pathways so that way it can be free to do what it's supposed to do. So the first one is you're gonna do it standing. So this is how you floss the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve uh, standing. So here you are, you're in this position right here. I usually recommend folks uh, do this in a door jam. So they're in a door jam right here. And what you do, so let's say I have problems on the left thigh. This is my left thigh right here. Let's say I have problems here down this thigh. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna take my left arm. My left arm is gonna go over my head like this toward the door jam, you see that? So it's gonna go this, while simultaneously I'm gonna reach for my left ankle with my right arm. So here we go like this, boom, see that? Bam. And I'm gonna release, and boom, and release, boom, and release. You can even make those sound effects, the boom sound effects, which I love doing. You can go boom, and release. Do this 10 to 15 reps in through here. Boom, release, boom, release. Now you can kind of see from Netter, as we do this movement, that nerve, tractions a little bit. That nerve will stretch out a little bit and then contract and stretch out and contract. And those tissues that have been, that are adhered, it's adhered to, will start to open up and thereby letting that nerve do what it's supposed to do, pain and discomfort goes away. From behind, it looks like this. So again, this is my left thigh that's having a problem. This is what it looks like from behind. So again, your door jam here, you're reaching with your left arm, to the door jam as you're simultaneously reaching for your left ankle with your right arm. So here you are, boom, see that? Boom, just like that. Boom, just like that. And that's what it looks like from behind. And that's the first exercise you can do for the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve for nerve flossing. The second way you can perform nerve flossing for the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve are when you, you can do this kneeling. So here you are, um, I'm gonna just, you're gonna, you're gonna need a wall, 
a wall or something to kind of support off of as you do this. I'm gonna tilt you down a little bit so you kind of can see what I'm doing this better. So you're gonna have a wall just like this. Now let's say I have problems with my right thigh. This is my right thigh now. And I have it up against facing, you know, nearest to the wall for support like this. And I'm gonna go into a lunge. So my left thigh is forward in this lunge. So I'm in this kind of lunge position like this, you see? So here I am in this lunge position, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my foot, you can kind of see my right foot, my trailing foot back here like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my left hand, my right hand is for support against the wall. My left hand is gonna reach for my right ankle. See that? And as I reach for my right ankle, I'm already gonna tilt toward the involved, I'm gonna tilt away, excuse me, tilt away from the involved side. So as I tilt away from the involved side, I'm reaching for my right ankle and boom, just like that. And down, foot goes down. I'm, I'm moving my other, my forward leg away so you can kind of see what's going on with my trailing leg. So here I am, I'm gonna lean, reach for my right ankle with my left hand, boom, just like that. And boom, just like that again. 10 to 15 reps in through here. Again, these are to your comfort level. You might not even be able to get this full range to start with. You can do these to your tolerance. In other words, if you can only, if you feel like you're already in this position right here and you lean and you can really feel that pull in through there, then that's fine. But as you, as, as that nerve gets more and more free, you're going to be able to do the full dynamic movement of this flossing. So this is what it looks like from behind. So from behind, here I am, and the, just for the sake of purpose, and now let's, let's say my problem is my left thigh. So right here. So my left thigh, I have my right foot forward here, and this is how it looks like. So I'm gonna, as I reach with my right hand to the involved thigh, I'm already lean. See that, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And that is the second way you can do nerve flossing for the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. You can do it while you're kneeling. I usually recommend a, a floor, you can put a pillow underneath your knee so that way it doesn't get trashed when you're doing these um, exercises. So get yourself a nice cushiony floor or pillow underneath your knee to do that and a good supportive a wall or chair, whatever you may have, something stationary in your house that you can hold up against. Last but not least, the third way you can do nerve flossing or nerve gliding for the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, femoral, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Say that again 10 times fast. See where you get to. Well, anyway, <laughs> the last one you could do are scorpion stretches. That's right, the good old scorpion stretch. But we're not gonna do it in a stretch. We're gonna do it dynamically. We're gonna move as we do the stretch. So, you here you are, you're lying down prone. You can be lying down and do these exercises. And now you do the scorp, my hands are outstretched in front of me. Let me tilt this down so you guys see what everything is doing. So here my arm, my arms are out in front of me like this. And I'm gonna try to keep Let's say my involved side is my left side. So this is my left hand, left hand, left side. And I'm gonna reach with my left foot to the floor. See that, boom. While trying to keep this arm on the ground. Boom, just like that. Boom, just like that. And then again, you can say boom. It's a good cue, boom, just like that. Oh, and I can really feel that in through there. Again, 10 to 15 reps, and be deliberate with these. Boom, just like that. Boom, if it's the right side, right? This is my right leg now, and I'm gonna try to keep my right arm on the ground. Boom, and you'll find one side is a little harder than the other. Boom, just like that. Even if you're not having symptoms on the other side, let's say you're having symptoms on the right side, do the left side as well. You wanna create balance. Remember, life is all about balance. And once you're 
no longer in balance, that's where you start having problems. So even though you're not having symptoms on, let's say, the left side and you're having symptoms on your right, do the left side. That way you create balance in through there. So scorpion stretches, do them dynamically, whereas a static one, you're just holding it like this. We're going back and forth because remember, what we're trying to do in essence is take that nerve that's passing from the low back spine down into your pelvis, down the outside part of your thigh. We're taking it as it goes through that pathway. We're taking that nerve and slowly we're applying traction to it and then we're contracting it and traction it through it. And so the pathway, the tunnel in which it goes through, all those adhesions that it may have developed as it goes through that pathway, the nerve can now glide through there freer, thereby problems, discomfort, pain, burning, tingling down the outside part of your thigh, the pocket area here, gone. If you have any questions with this video, drop it off in the comment section below. We thank you for watching. We appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And when you hit subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button because that'll keep you in the loop with subsequent videos coming here in the near future. And that way you can continue to move well, live well. Also, I know you know folks who are battling Neuralgia parasitica, compression, or adhesions through the uh, because of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Share this with them. Sharing is caring. That way they can perform these exercises. Doesn't require any equipment, a wall, door jam. That way they can find relief as well. Also, give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. It lets us know you care. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.